and it's time for entertainment. The general is here to answer all your entertainment questions. I see. <laughs> Hello, Araba, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm okay, good. so we are, you know, getting ready to enjoy this weekend uh, with the guys because Omowo is happening okay. tomorrow, okay. and uh, we'll be at the Osu uh, Five Junction okay. to celebrate with the folks from Osu. What so, will they be doing? So they are celebrating. I think you're crowning the entire celebration Okay, it's going to be the climax So tomorrow. Yes, okay. exactly. So we're having a jam with them tomorrow. Okay. So you want to pass through the five junction, Usu, if you have time tomorrow. Mm. All right, so um, let's move on and talk about Oscar Doe. You know Oscar Doe, a CEO of Eurostar? Yes. You know he began the red carpet fashion yes. and uh, doling out money to people who exactly. he felt, you know, had actually slayed uh -huh. on the red carpet. Exactly. But it's a long time we heard him do anything of the sort. Right. So he's telling us that, you know, his goal has been achieved. He thinks that he started yeah. what has now become the fashion industry yeah. here in Ghana. Okay. Then also he waded into uh, Yvonne Nelson's Wahala where she said that, you know, people should stop slaying and concentrate on building the movie industry. Here's more from Oscar Do. I, I, I think, and this is obvious, <coughs> I think what we did, it is just to spark people. Hey, wake up. And the stage we are now, it's obvious that we've transcended to the next level where they now appreciate that elegance, fashion is part of showbiz, mm -hmm. you know, and that they don't have to dress because expecting someone will reward them, but it is for their own good. It's now obvious that is the stage we are now, and I am excited to see that, you know. So if that is why if you go all the events, you see the trend is different. You know, you see a lot of spark, a lot of, you know, people, especially the, the showbiz people, they begin to demonstrate that they are beginning to take themselves serious. So now the audience can reciprocate that. Mm. And, and how I saw you waiting to the controversy on social media, the back and forth about slave queens, no movie industry, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I think that particular uh, issue, Yvonne, was just wrong because I personally admire Yvonne so much because she's done so well for herself. We cannot be discounted. She's amazing, but she's genius, no doubt. And I always have a private conversation with her. I said, look, you are Yvonne Benson, and that is it. But you can also not discount where this uh, red carpet of fashion, which creates opportunity for other, you know, unknown people to become stars. You can discount it. You cannot determine how someone should use their life to do. So that is why Yvonne Nelson was so wrong. You know, when somebody wants to, you know, that is him. And this is social media, that alone can make somebody become a big star. And that could be a turning point for somebody. So she's just wrong because, I mean, you can also determine that now before you can slay or dress well, especially if you're an actress or actor, unless you stay in the movie that you, nah, it's wrong. Well, he makes a good point. Well, yes, yes, yes. And for someone who has actually, you know, helped the industry, you yeah. can help but, you know, take what he says when yeah. it comes to fashion in Ghana. But let's uncover the woman everybody talks about. She calls her folks the Simabru dolls. Okay. And that's Simabru. Very young girl. She's in her 20s, late 20s. Oh, wow. And she does marvelous stuff. She's a fashion designer. Exactly. She picked up the, the red carpet uh, fashion designer at the Glitz Awards. And uh, we had a conversation about Teletubbies. You remember Teletubbies? Yes, yes. From the Ghana Music yes. Awards. <laughs> she, see, uh, she, she had designed for most of the ladies right. who were in that category of right. Teletubbies. So I spoke to Simovu. I feel great. And then um, it makes me feel that um, people, are, people here in Ghana and people outside Ghana are watching what I'm doing. So I, I feel very okay. No, no, I'm so not expensive. You can even get an outfit from me for like 500 cities. Mm. Yes. I see. Yeah. And then you've slayed a lot of people. Sometimes when they wear your dresses, they, you know, they get bashed and all that. They get a music awards. You know, there were lots of backlashes for some of them. How did you feel, you know? Okay, honestly, I feel so cool because um, I know what I do and then they come to me to fit and then I see them before they step out. So when they step out and someone um, say bad things about the outfit, I feel like, um, you know, sometimes people even don't know me, but because of these bad comments and other stuff, people get to know me. But um, I wouldn't say that I don't, um, I don't feel any pain or something. Sometimes I get emotional, but other times I feel like, oh, it's, it's part of the game. 
All right, so that's Sima Brew, and she has a fantastic mall now where she showcases all her work. So let's talk about Sonny Badu. So tell me what you know about Sonny Badu, the gospel musician. Now he's a preacher too. Oh, yes. Uh, all I know about Sonny Badu is he's a great gospel musician, and he sang uh rain on me okay <laughs> that's still raining though yeah. so uh becky caught up with him at the is uh, summit and he tells her five things we don't know about him very shy um well when i'm in my element and most of the time people catch me in the element but i'm very shy i'm, I'm an introvert i talk less um that's number three um Number four, I'm a pastor, but a lot of people don't know that. And they only assume I'm the singer. Number five, um, uh, uh, what's the fifth one, actually? Uh, maybe four things, yeah. So Sonny could give us four things, you know, that we didn't know about that him. That wasn't too tough to figure out. He's very shy. He's <laughs> very shy. He's an introvert. Very shy. <laughs> okay, so quickly, how, I'm sure you've heard of Victoria Lebanon and Mekpa. Who is that? You don't know Lebanese? No. Okay, do you know Kufia Jololo? Yes. You know the lady he was dating? The young lady? Yes. Yes. So it means that you can't remember the name Victoria Mekpa, but she, once I say Kufia Jololo, yes. you know of a certain Victoria. Yes. Well, she says Kufi never made her famous. For a lot of people, yes. but for that relationship, we didn't know her. She says she was a Bond star, or she is a Bond star. They, that's what I hear people say, but uh, apparently I was doing a whole lot before Kofi Ajolo came into the picture. So it's not like because of him, I was all over. I mean, because of our intention, you know, in the past, that's why a lot of Ghanaians are all about this. Yeah. So, so you don't agree with people who say that he made you a star and now you've, you've just said it? No, I won't agree with that. I won't agree to that. You agree. I won't agree to that. I'm a born star. <laughs> oh, it's not what you think it is. Really. Do you miss him? No, I don't. Why don't you? I, we've moved on. I mean, I've moved on. I'm doing well with my career. I want to, you know, expand my territories and do well for myself. So. Victoria, what is the Lebanese? Uh, Victoria Lebanese. She is. says, I'm a born star. Yeah, she, she was born a star. Oh, okay. Uh, when, when I think about people who are born stars, uh -huh. I think about Beyonce because right from her childhood, you could tell she had, she was skilled and she was oh, talented. She, as for Lebanese, she was a star from church <laughs> to school, now on screen, so she was a born star. Well, we wish her all the best and all the born stars <laughs> out there. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Araba. Hey, good to see you, Miss G. <laughs>